Hey, hi, Navin. Yeah, hi. Good morning, Srinivas. Yeah, very good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Doing well. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. So, shall we start the interview? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, can you brief about your, yourself? Like, uh, so how much experience you have and all? Yeah, thanks for giving this opportunity. So my name is Navin Kumar, as you know, uh, I have a four plus years of experience into IT. So coming to the Power BI, I have uh, uh, 3.5 years of experience into Power BI. So currently I'm working for a Tech Mahindra. Uh, prior to that, I work for a TCS. Okay. Uh, so this is about my company and coming to my project. So my current project is a USC, that is a United Healthcare. That this is the healthcare domain. So coming to my roles and responsibilities, so daily attend the start, daily standard meetings to get the business requirement documents to so prepare the some technical specification. So most of the times the clients give the mark markup is a, some kind of Excel. They will describe the all the story about the user. So like oh, what are the slices, filters and what type of bookmarks and which type of visual, what type of custom visual they want all the story given as a user story. Okay, then we take that story and then we prepare as a Task in a Azure Dev App portal. So basically, we used Azure Dev App in a uh, uh, collaboration with our team. Okay. So once we have estimated the complexity task, and then we sources we connect for the uh, SQL. So in this source, then I connect the SQL. So Azure SQL. So it is a cloud ETL tool. Okay. Then I connect with the SQL. Then and I want to move to the Power Query editor. So we need to some of the clean. So because of most of the times we have received a, like. Uh, unstructured data, unclean data. So we need to transform the data in a power query editor by using some of the transformation like remove the column, add the column and calculate columns and then uh, date columns, time function columns, concatenations, uh, trim, split, all the functions we used and then we clean the data. Okay, and we prepare the some dimension tables and then fact table and the duplicates and reference and merge and up and all those, whichever I required, I used these are the things. Okay, after that, then I push into that in the Power BI desktop where we create the model and we create the visualization part. So what type of visual? So cluster column chart or bar chart, tag, chart, everything. So what the required and then prepared. Then after that, we create as a bookmark. So when you navigate to one page to another page, so giving the action. So, so you, if you want, then we click on this page, then you will go to the second page and the third page. Like then we given the action in the navigation. So after that, we create, then we uh, send it to the review. For review team is there, then they will review. And then if there are any comments, everything then, uh, they will sort out and then we again reply the deployment pipelines. Once we deploy into the QA, then they will test and everything is okay. If there are any debugs, then I uh, download the file again, again he modified and then I will submit to the deployment pipelines. So once I deploy the QA deployment successful, then admin team will trigger the deployment pipelines and share the reports to the end user through the app. So app is a, one of the best option to share the reports to the end user. Okay. How? Uh, we I have developed the report in my current project. So this is about me. Thank you, Srimas. It's very nice uh, explanation, Navin. Thank you so much. And uh, so, Navin, uh, come to our uh, you know interview. Uh, like, uh, so what is your uh, daily day-to-day uh, -day activities when uh, once you log into your uh, you know uh, real work? What is your activities? Yeah, coming to my roles and responsibilities daily. So as soon as I log in uh, my uh, laptop, then just I check for a uh, mails. What are the client mails? If there are any client mails, what is the emergency mails or what is the responding and what are the mails from the uh, scrum master or what are the mails from the other users? If there are any case to do uh, as and there and they, then and they, then given replies though, the most important thing is so once when we open the mail, then uh, we give the reply. So for example, the task is to estimate a timeline is over, then we will give the, what is the response? So why I have not achieved that one? So what is the reason? So what is the complexity that? So for example, if we will achieve, then I will send a mail to reply them. So because of the client wait for my mail, so one they'll give reply. So today I will be going to work this one though, then I will attend these tasks so once we complete them we have to go so shall i proceed okay this is the way to i respond the mails first and then i check with my time calendar and then what are the meetings will happen so based on that meeting then i will 
coordinate with my team members okay as i am a team lead i am a team member then i coordinate with the other team members and how much work i had done and what i have done yesterday then i have uh, update the azure devap so once we have done i have checked with the mails and then calendar then i enter into the azure devap that is a collaboration so i used in the my internal azure devap then there what is the task assigned to me then i'll check with that one then what are the task is that uh, estimation of the task then i'll take the task and i will work on that and then attend the daily stand up meeting in the daily stand up meeting if there any uh, like uh, facing the issues in my uh, yesterday task or any uh, explanation of the task then i explain to the my manager and then uh, like that then i work uh, daily my activities shrinivas okay so to summarize that so whenever you log in you are check your emails and then if yeah. there any uh, high priority email to reply you will reply and then after sure. you will check your meetings and then you will and un- um, you know attend the meetings and then you will you will check your tasks okay this is your yes. daily routines yeah okay so that is in azure devops okay the task in azure devops so so you will check your tasks and uh, yes so that is the I mean okay so uh, you know like meetings like what kind of meetings you will have uh, daily daily like uh, what is that in meeting like what that meeting is called daily meetings yeah actually we have attended the daily stand up meeting mm-hmm. so that is uh, like one fixed time so like evening the 7 o'clock the that daily stand up meeting then we discuss the task the and then how much work had been done what we are going to do today and what we will think next so although then we will discuss as by my manager so if there any uh, obligation everything then we should discuss on the team so that is the what is your shift timing. timings yeah my shift timing is uh, 12 to 10 o'clock okay so you are working for the us client i think yeah because of the us client okay 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 so okay so once i uh, attend the daily stand up meeting and weekly i the sprint meeting uh, so then that that is a week, bi weekly sprint meeting actually so in the bi weekly okay, sprint yeah. meeting every people are following days. agile methodology yes yes agile methodology okay so so the week sprint how much uh, like bi weekly or like weekly sprinting it is by bi weekly 15 days so one sprint will release so what is sprint means your sprint means it is a like uh, planning so uh, for example we have the lot of works is there then we, we will plan the uh, like uh, we scheduling the uh, items like uh, you will do this one like uh, yeah, we have this uh, okay. each team uh, member like, uh, they will assign the task in the sprint meeting yes yes planning okay. planning that is so planning. who will assign that uh, task yeah task uh, scrum master okay okay scrum master will used to assign the task to each team member yes 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 okay okay so like so only sprint meeting and the sprint reviews or sprint planning okay this is called sprint planning right so assigning the task yes yes sprint planning sprint planning so what we will do in sprint review yeah coming to the sprint review then uh, uh, for example yesterday what uh, we have uh, the uh, scrum scrum master as and the four task me so in the four tasks so should i complete everything is it okay then if there any obligation that then for like they giving the data source giving the source like then is there any complexity than the source so i should not able to complete then we will ask the again from master and then review the uh, like uh, what i have done so this is the way to explaining this uh, so cleaning up the data what is the, the backlog okay so. why you haven't done the task so what yes, is the yes. backlog and all so you will discuss in the sprint review like so what yes, are the correct. task completed what is still pending if it is pending why it is pending and all so yeah. you will uh, see in the uh, sprint correct. review is that right yes yes that okay. correct so after sprint review again you will have a sprint planning so then again so they will assign the again we will continue so after oh. monthly we will give client meetings okay 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 uh, great like uh, who will give the um, uh, requirement like so like the requirements uh, how you will get the requirements like through documents or through meetings you will get that requirement yeah yeah actually then we have added in the teams so in the teams they created the one folder like uh, the one drive or the share point so basically then uh, last uh, my uh, project is the share point the data should be there in the share point then i will open that and then as the member of the share point then i'll open and they'll give the data there so then when she receive the data there in the file then i connect the power bi okay so in the actually my source is the share point uh, and then i connected the sql Okay, SQL. We have the another credential. Then we log in the SQL, 
uh, we given that credentials and we enter into the data and then what are the requirement to columns so we have then i select the query and then we uh, put into the power bi desktop where we get the data okay once we enter into the data then we have to develop the report okay 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 good uh so you got the requirements like through sharepoint you mean to say so in sharepoint yes. they will share the uh, no documents through uh, yeah. documents you will uh, go with that okay yes uh, can you tell me your project flow like so what are the source you connected and what is the connectivity mode and all so can you give me uh, something about uh, your workflow what is your uh, project workflow and all yeah actually uh, i connected uh, with a sql so that is the source then i connected the direct mode okay once we direct mode actually i do not do any of the like cleaning operations so directly the my role is to uh, develop uh, to prepare the like uh, the reports so okay then we have received the like uh, excel sheet and the user uh, story so based on that then we will already the clean the data then we have the some fact tables and the dimension table so once we have the power bi desktop the data then we go for the modeling connection and then the what is the fact table and then how many dimension table so basically we have the six dimension table so like location table and the dim product table and dim dim uh, uh, like uh, a sales table all those the, we have the uh, these six tables then one which keys to the many to one relationship is formed so once we have check this one then we need to start the visualization so one by one we have started the like your cluster column chart or bar chart if there any requirement then we need to write the some dax functions so like year over year sales we want to so based on that then we want to like first we uh, calculate the total sales after that then we have the same period last year some of the functions we used and then we create so one separate folder we create the um, folder for the measures okay because of we have a lot of uh, tables we have a lot of tables in lot of columns either we, we might confuse so that is the reason we have created generate series in the one uh, table for this particular measure and what are the measures i want so based on the requirement like total sales and year over year sales and then same period last year and then all those prepare and then move into the one table so then we we, we are showing this one and then we have the some card visuals so like that then we need to start uh, uh, this is the way to uh, work in the project uh, sinbas okay so nice uh, like so who will do the etl operations like uh, so you only do or uh, there is separate etl team yeah actually in the last project i uh, some other team is there sql team because of that the source is sql so mm -hmm. but in those before last project i have done the, my etl project etl process also okay, because that, that is the, the csv files uh, you used uh, adf or ssis yeah actually adf okay you have uh, adf okay okay yeah so how many of uh, team members you have in your team yeah i have a six members team members so in the six members we have the two developers and then with the two testers and then uh, one people the admin one is the team lead okay yeah so that's it uh, from my end um, so okay navin so yeah Okay, yeah. thank you so much for giving the opportunity. Okay, so hope you, you know uh, understand the um, interview questions and all. So this is total real real time, like how the real time work and all. So the main motto of this interview is to understand how the real uh, work will be there and what is the task we have, how will you no know, day to day activities will start and then the project flow. So like mainly here, uh, so like, so I, I forgot one question, Navin. So like, uh, so what is the challenge you faced? Like, uh, what is the challenge you faced? Um, yeah, okay. That, uh, so when I joined this in last company, so as soon as I joined, so actually that already one project is going on. So on that project, uh, one of the people has met an accident actually. So they taken the 40 days of rest. Mm -hmm. So my manager told me then immediately they push into that project. So when I entered the project, actually that is already in the red uh, red line project. So because of they did not do uh, capability to do those all those things. Actually, what might happen? Uh, actually, I did not to uh, uh, understand. So, but uh, I thought so. How can we complete this one? Actually, we have the fifteen days time only to de deliver the sprint. To. But okay. we have the lot of work. So, so we may not uh, complete that one. But I assume 
to uh, segregate that works so how uh, for example then we have the like four members and team and uh, that one okay mm -hmm. then uh, one are the like admin only then they cannot do anything in that development role so we have planned so when the sprint uh, when the task is assigned then for example what are the related tasks then we have taken and then we uh, complete the as uh, task as that day whatever then it will take time because of um, we are uh, achieving this goal then within the timeline because that is already ready so my manager told me then this is a very like um, uh, prestigious one then because of the we should not uh, uh, release this one the our uh, business will loss in client my company so that okay client will so that is the reason then we have planned everything and then we should achieve that one within the timeline then we have give the deliverables so that is one of the uh, best challenge in my career okay awesome so even uh, so within the no challenging like within the short period of time you took the challenge yes. and then uh, you work very well on the uh, time trade and then uh, you deliver the task that is awesome man yes, so great challenge yeah. so yeah. thank you navin so guys okay so, this is uh, like so when we face the challenge okay you may face you know different uh, so facing challenge means like that may be technical or that may be you know uh, uh, no team wise or that may be in a different different situation okay if you want to find like uh, not technically like suppose dax wise or uh, you know visuals wise or like power query so we have a uh, no different uh, kind of sites okay if you want to you know see how the challenge works like so you can go here and then uh, so like stack overflow you can go to the stack overflow uh, power bi stack overflow there you can find uh, so many questions like uh, the, um, so people uh, you know ask so many questions developer will ask the real questions and how that got resolved and all so you can go and then uh, see so there are so many questions i will see this is dax related selected values and uh, so how they have given example what is the issue and how should be resolved and all so you have to go with the stack overflow power bi so there are so many questions okay you can go to here so you see these are all related to the issues okay so they posted the issue someone will give the answers so you can take one or two are related to the dax and power query and then you can get more like so these are the challenges i have faced and these are the issues i have faced and then i have resolved the strong steps okay finally we result okay so what you have to say so we we tried this way this way this way this way and then finally we got the results and this is the one more thing and then you have one more thing okay power bi community is also there so in power bi community also we have uh, so many questions okay actual users will post their uh, you know uh comments th their issues there so you can go and then you can see all kind of issues okay you can see see if it is power query related issue you can click on power query related issues and then you can see all power query related issues and then you can take one of one or two and then even you can find the answers there only okay so and you can uh, you can write your own and then you can uh, get so many answers okay so it's a very frequent asked question okay what is your challenges what are the your challenges in your project and that may be technically or that may be you know as navin said okay the situation may be okay one of the team member is you know uh, take the rest of, so due to some accident is happened and then so he he has uh, the total responsibility he take the total responsibility and uh, he deliver the projects within the time frame without kt and all so that is the you no know, challenging okay so if you, you know uh if you want some other questions okay like related this kind of questions okay if you want you can post comment below so we'll you know try to give the mock up interview on that guy, that that one also okay so give you a suggestions like what kind of questions you want okay so where we want to create a video on mock up interview okay if you give a suggestions definitely uh, we will go and then uh, create a um, mock up interview on that that one as well okay thank you so much guys thanks for your support okay so like uh, and subscribe my channel so every saturday we'll post one mock up interview um, so if you post some questions okay we'll uh, give on that or else okay we will go with some scenario basis going forward we'll go with the some scenario basis and all okay thank you guys um, uh, so if you, you know watch my channel first time okay um, hit the subscribe button for more videos, guys. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Navin. Bye.